Hello, Mama Elsie. Oh, and hello, Betty Lou. So last time we updated y'all, we only had one hen, Mama Elsie, who had gone broody. But a week later, we discovered a second chicken who we thought had passed away by the local wildlife. Uh, except she had sat on 17, 17 unfertilized eggs hidden underneath the chicken coop behind the lemon balm plant. So we moved her over into the Broody Hen Hotel and got her set up with her own little nest. And we gave her a couple of the fertilized eggs that we had given to Elsie. So we should be having hopefully 12 eggs hatching in about two weeks now is when the hatch date is. To make sure that the eggs are developing, we're gonna do what's called candling tonight after it gets dark outside. So candling is just a way to kind of peek inside of the egg. Um, it used to be done with a candle, which is where it got its name, candling, and they sell special candling uh, equipment to look inside the egg, but also you can just use a really good flashlight with a nice bright beam and it works just as well, and that's what we'll be using tonight. And the reason why we're checking inside of the eggs is to, to see if there's an embryo developing because if there isn't one, the egg is just going to rot and a rotten egg will start to smell, it can off gas and if you had it say in an incubator, that off gassing could affect the health of all the other chicks. So you want to get the, the ones that are going to rot out. Also, as we discovered last year, a rotten egg can also explode. So you really don't want to be cleaning off um, egg yolk from eggs that you're wanting to keep alive because you want to keep the bloom on there and you don't want to drown the chicks that are developing in the other uh, other eggs. So really you just want to remove any of the eggs that don't have embryos developing in them. So with candling you can do it about the 7 to 10 day mark is when you'll start seeing something in there. What we're going to be looking for tonight is we're going to see, look for a little dot in there and that's actually the, where the eye is developing. And about we're going to be about nine, 10 days here. So even at that point, there's going to start developing the eyelids. So we're going to be able to see that really clearly. And also on the yolk, we're going to see a lot of veins. So that's what we're going to be looking for when it gets dark tonight. We do have some eggs that are going to be a little bit more difficult to candle. So like black copper morons, we have one of those eggs in here and those are so dark that even trying to candle it, we're not, might not be able to see for sure. So if we're not for sure, we'll leave them in there for a little bit longer and see if they hatch. But with the other eggs that are lighter brown, lighter blue, we should be able to have a good idea what's going on inside the egg. You could candle the eggs every day and kind of watch the development. And you've probably seen pictures of that online if you had Googled egg candling before. But the less frequently you handle the eggs, the better, because they are trying to develop in there. And if you don't want to be shaking them and moving them too much, you might, you know, break the air sac or something like that. So you just the less that you handle them, the better. Let the mom take care of them. She knows best. So we typically only candle once, and that's about at the seven to 10 day mark, like I mentioned earlier. So then you just get an idea, see which eggs are good and which ones are bad. So right now we're gonna wait a couple more hours when it gets dark and we'll be slipping under the hens and pulling out their eggs one by one and seeing which ones have developed. And as you can see, we have a storm brewing here in addition to the sirens you hear, but it's just been getting cloudier and cloudier as I've been talking to y'all. And look at those clouds. I hope we get some rain. It's been so hot and humid the last two days and we haven't had a drop of rain. And we did end up with some of the rain. All right, so it's after nine o'clock, so therefore it's dark here, except for the street lamp out there. And we've also got our flashlight. Please don't peck me. Guy, okay, all right, I got one. All right, so we got the first egg out and you want to hold it pointy side up. And we're going to just use a can uh, light here to get a better look inside. Do you have it as a single beam? Mm -hmm. Yep. Maybe it's not strong enough. It's going to work dark. Maybe we have more chicken there than I thought. I 
mine's pretty dark. It's dark, wow. but we shouldn't see. It shouldn't be that dark right now. Mm. Do you mind getting the um, other flashlight, Daisy's sure. laser light? All right. So we tried candling the eggs. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to see inside any of them, which we're hoping is a good sign. Moran eggs are really too dark to see inside easily, especially since we don't have a special candler to look inside of. And blue eggs are also tricky to see inside of. So we have a lot of green eggs, some blue eggs, and a Moran egg. And Betty Lou is not letting us get her light brown eggs out to take a closer look. She is attacking us. So we're going to call it a night and hope we're doing pretty well with them. Um, we didn't see any light. So when we were trying, we tried with a cell phone light. We tried with two different types of flashlight. Couldn't see inside any of them. So we're assuming the eggs are developing. So we've given Elsie her eggs back and she's much happier now that we're not disturbing her as much. We'll link below to a picture of what we are looking for in a candled egg at this stage, but we might be a little bit further along than we thought. We might be a little bit closer to the 13 day mark, which would mean this little the eggs are getting a little crowded in there. We weren't going to see as much. As you can see from this chart, um, as the days progress, it gets harder and harder to see inside of the egg. While we thought we were probably at day nine, we actually may have been closer to day 13 or 14, which would explain why we couldn't see inside of the eggs. We had been busy earlier in the week, so we probably missed the ideal candling time. Don't forget to hit subscribe so they can see the cute baby chicks right after they hatch.